today on Designing Spaces. Thinking about renovating your kitchen or bathroom? If so, check out what the folks at Allied Kitchens and Baths can do for you. It's nothing short of magical. If it's time to paint the interior or exterior of your business or home, the pros at Chuck's Painting can help you go from bland to grand. Looking to enhance your car's exterior? Maybe it's time to get it custom wrapped. The Wrap Clinic has the skills to wrap your baby in any color or design you can imagine. Marble floors can last a lifetime, but they need to be maintained. Affordable marble restoration will happily clean and polish your floors to help them keep their natural beauty. In the market for a dependable generator that'll be there if Mother Nature unleashes her fury? Generator Superstore is the one-stop shop for all your power generating needs. Hurricanes are a fact of life for Florida residents, which is why dependable shuttering glass only carries the top of the line, high impact glass windows and accordion shutters. Hi, I'm Bill Feinberg, president and owner of Alley Kitchen and Bath here in Fort Lauderdale. Today we're in our showroom in the Oakland Park Culinary and Arts District with our partners from the Cosentino family. Today I want to talk to you specifically about Decton. Decton is made for both indoors and outdoors. It is the most resilient, the hardest, and the most fade resistant material on the market. As you see on the walls here, they're clad with more than eight slabs that are book matched to match, flow seamlessly throughout the backsplash as well as the countertop with the waterfall edge. And now we're here in one of our outdoor displays featuring the Decton countertop. It is the most resilient product out there. It is fade resistant, heat resistant. You can even put a hot pot directly on here. Also, it will not scratch. Come visit our showroom here in Fort Lauderdale in the Culinary and Arts District. You'll be glad you did. You'd be surprised what a new coat of paint will do. It's a fresh start. It'll make you fall in love with your home all over again. We've been in business for over 40 years. We definitely know paint. We do residential communities. We do townhouse communities, condos, uh, business parks, and everything in between. No project too big or too small. And if anyone is glad that Chuck's painting is up to the task, it's Beth and her mother, Christine, who have lived together in their beautiful Davy home for over 20 years. I'm a native Floridian. I was born in Miami, Florida. My mom and I are like best of friends. We go on trips together. We love to do crossword puzzles. And we like to go on the boat, on the water. We have two Yorkies. Everywhere we go has got to be pet friendly. I'm looking very forward to having the house painted. It's needed it for a while. This particular project is about a 5,000 square foot house. It needs a little bit of TLC. And we're really looking forward to helping them revitalize the property. We're on two acres. Uh, we're on water. I love the nature that's around the house. But with the nature also comes a lot of work. Living in South Florida, owning a home in South Florida, it's constant upkeep, constant maintenance. And it is a big house. It is overwhelming at times. And I don't know the first thing about paint, but Alex was extremely professional and the most knowledgeable. I'm very excited to see the end product. When we initially come on site, we identify most of the problem areas and then come up with a game plan as to how to attack it and rectify the situation. So the first process that we do when we show up on the property is all this needs to be pressure cleaned. The darker portions here have to be pressure cleaned off. We also use a 50-50 mix of bleach and water. Now obviously in the back of the house it's more pronounced because this is where a lot more of the algae and mildew is present. The problem is, is that you have these eyesores where Mother Nature takes over. It actually eats the paint over time. Uh, all this area will again be bleached, it will be pressure cleaned and removed, and then once that process is done, we put what's called a sealer. What it, that does, it acts as a primer, it bonds the paint to the substrate. Now this location is a little different than others. The moisture that sits under the pavers has obviously wreaked havoc on the bottom here. All the paint has bubbled and peeled off. Uh, not a problem, we've seen this many times before. It's gonna be scraped, it's gonna be sealed, and uh, ultimately it will never happen again. Here's a classic example of what no homeowner wants to see. The fascia boards are rotted due to the mold and mildew. The gutter will have to be removed. All the rotten wood's gonna have to come out. We're gonna have to replace it, paint it, make it look new again. Here we have some of the same situation. All this wood is gonna have to be ripped out and replaced. 
All the walls are gonna have to be pressure cleaned, sealed, and painted. It's a beautiful home. It's too bad that it's in the condition it's in. Luckily, we specialize in this type of work and we'll bring the home back to its original condition. A quality paint job is gonna preserve your house. It's gonna make it last longer, look more beautiful. Once this house is completed, it's gonna pop. And just like that, this crack team of pros dons their war paint and gets to work to prep the exterior before coating every last inch with a fresh new finish. The pressure cleaning's been done, the ceiling's been done. What's happening now is they're patching some of the cracks in the house and the final process will be to apply the paint and then everything's finished. Yeah, I'm very excited to see some of the work outside. Long overdue. Wow, I cannot I believe, believe the difference. Done in just two days. Yeah, like a brand new house. Yes. Brand new beginnings. Yes. Beth, I just wanted to give you an idea and show you some of our progress. You remember what it looked like before with the mold and the mildew. All that's been removed. Uh, the house has been prepped, it's been painted, and this is our final result. It's absolutely amazing, Alex. It's night and day. It looks brand new. It looks beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Unbelievable. Amazing. Really can't. Really looks great, Alex. Really, really nice. I can't believe it. Even over there, you really can't believe how, where the difference it made. It feels like a brand new house. It really, really great. Good, Thank you, you like so it. much. You're very amazing. welcome. I cannot believe the difference in the house. It looks awesome. It looks amazing. It looks like night and day. It looks like a brand new house. Even better than I anticipated it. Very, very happy. Beth's happy, I'm happy, we got the job done, the house looks phenomenal, and we couldn't ask for a better result. Another job done, and the crew is off to paint the town. Whatever your needs, Chuck's Painting has you covered. To learn more, visit their website. When it comes to making nearly any kind of vehicle a head turner, sexy looking from the ground and water up, there's one business in South Florida people are noticing. Billing itself as the premier custom wrap design and installation company in Greater Miami, the Wrap Clinic is changing the face of highways and waterways in this sun-drenched metropolis. Owner Robert Wasserman is the first to sing its praises. The popularity of wrapping cars, boats, and trucks it's very simple. People actually really like to identify with their vehicle and have a custom feel. And it's easily done. It's not a lot of money. It's a cost-effective way to either A, for a commercial vehicle to identify your business and do sales, or if you're customizing and doing a color change, you can identify with your vehicle and stand out. Every year, we make it possible for thousands of Americans from all walks of life to make their travel dreams come true. And we can do it for you, too. Designing Spaces brought its cameras to Rap Clinic's Miami location to see the newest vehicle addition to family. Yes, a beautifully refurbished 1974 Airstream. For the TV segment, Ralph on the Road, featuring Miami's very own Chef Ralph Pagano. Here's what the brushed aluminum trailer looked like before the facelift. We say, not bad, but just wait till you see how it's gonna look. Rap Clinic owner Wasserman describes the process. This is really what we do here at the Rap Clinic. This is a phenomenal print that one of our graphics designers came up with the owner of the boat. He just wasn't happy with the plain look. He wanted a new identity. Sat down with one of my graphics designers, and this is what we came up with. Absolutely gorgeous. We basically wrap for our customers what they want to be wrapped. I, however, break it down into two different types of wraps. There's a color change wrap, where basically a customer can come in and pick out the color. We're able to really change the vehicle up for a cost-effective price, and really make it stand out nice. Then there's the other category that we actually specialize in, and that's commercial wraps. When people want to advertise on their vehicle, on their boat, any type of transportation we can advertise on. That way you basically have like a moving 
billboard. Is the process affordable? You bet it is. We've got all kinds of banks that we work with. If you want to finance it over time, we've got all kinds of different budgets. We do jobs for $500. We do jobs all the way up to over $100,000. We do little cars, we do big cars, 18 wheelers. You name it, we do it. Not a problem whatsoever. Except for maybe the Queen Mary. That might be a problem. So the best thing about dealing with the wrap clinic when customizing your vehicle is that we do everything. We powder coat rims, we also customize calipers as well, all in house so we can give you a super great price. So you're getting basically everything you want all under one roof, what I like to call one stop shop. So as you can see we're starting to wrap the vehicle. Film will last for five years. Obviously, with that being said, you got the floor to sun, you get the, all the weather elements. You have to take care of it. Treat it as if it didn't have the film on it. And if you stick to how you treated it before it had the film on it, you're gonna be good for a minimum of five years. It's looking pretty good, right? Pagano, you're gonna love it. Well, there's no doubt. What happened to this Airstream promises to be one stylish head-turning experience for all passers-by. I'm taking this coach in on the road and I'm gonna visit all the culinary hotspots this country has to offer. This is Ralph on the road. Of course, you'll see Ralph and his tricked out trailer all across America as he brings his mouth-watering food and culinary skills from inside this little piece of Miami, courtesy of The Wrap Clinic. And that's a wrap. And what a wrap it is thanks to the visual magic makers here in South Florida. Visit them on the web at MiamiRapClinic.com. That's MiamiRapClinic.com. Nothing is immune to the hands of time. Even the most durable flooring materials need periodic rejuvenation. Uh, my family and I, we have a lot of traffic and we just don't have time to maintain it. We got busy lives and uh, it's just time to really get it taken care of. With proper care, maintenance and restoration, these marble floors can last generations. After talking to the homeowner, um, we're gonna restore the floors in this house and basically get it back to its natural beauty. Boris does a walkthrough with the homeowner, pointing out the problems. Well, basically the floor was neglected for years from previous owners. To get it back to original stage, we need basically to clean it really good, take care of all these scratches. Then we're gonna flatten the floor, we're gonna fill all the holes, so it's gonna look gorgeous after we're done. So one of the neighbors referred me to you, and when I heard your company name was Affordable Marble Restoration, those were like the three magic words for right. me. The crew clears the furniture and covers the baseboards. Here you can see high, highest traffic area in this house, of course. And of course, kitchen cooking, you get all right. the grease and dirt. And and of course, by the sink, this is the holes we're trying to fill to make it as flat as possible. You know, in some of the tiles, like if you look at these ones here, there's just tons of pitting here. And when they come right. from outside, the dirt gets in there and well, everything. Well, you gotta realize a lot of these stones are from the different quarries. So some of the stones are more stronger, some less. Even in the high traffic areas, you can see wear and tear is different gotcha. on a stone. Boris meets with his crew, pointing out details and special care areas of the floor. They're set to go. Did you know marble floors need regular maintenance? Avoid harsh chemicals and use mild cleaners made specifically for stone floors. Never use mops and sprays made for cleaning vinyl floors on a stone floor. Dust mop marble floors frequently to remove dust and dirt particles that have been ground in by heavy foot traffic. The next day, after the floors have dried, the project moves into its second phase. The homeowner wanted the satin finish, and that's what we're doing today. We're sealing and buffing the floor to get to the final result, and then we can move the furniture back. Once Boris and his crew have completed the final buffing, the marble floor has a vibrant new life. A marble floor can last forever if you take care of it. An affordable marble restoration can help you with that. 
So they finished the floor and I am beyond ecstatic at the results. They delivered on every promise. It's beautiful, it's flat, it doesn't have all the little pits for the dirt to catch into. They really brought new life into this floor. If rocks can really have life, this is it. We've all been there when the electricity goes out. Everything suddenly shuts off. The house goes dark and quiet. It's a unique feeling of despair. So my first thought was the refrigerator. And sometime later, what was on my mind was the lack of AC. And then I remember there was no hot water heater. That's when I realized how much I took everything for granted. I was basically camping out of my home. When a hurricane hits in our area, we may lose power for weeks at a time. A standby generator becomes your source of electricity. A standby generator improves the quality of life by ensuring that you never lose power again. A standby generator, in contrast to a portable one, it's designed and built to work for days at a time. And it's powered by natural gas or liquid propane. Today, Isaac and his team from Generator Supercenter are here at this South Florida home installing a Generac standby generator. They aim to minimize disturbance to the home during the prep and install. After spending two weeks with no power after Irma, we decided we would never do that again. It is a three-step process. First, we send a sales consultant to make a load analysis of your home. And these are the only two ACs that you have? Yes, that's the only and ones we have. Just show me where the power comes from. Okay, I'll take you right over here at the end of the house. Second, our in-house engineering department prepares the blueprints and submits them to the appropriate building department. Third, once your permits are ready, we install your new generator. The generator will be located near the house exterior electrical panel. Cesar explains the installation of a key component, the transfer switch. Okay, we spoke with the owner of the house to let her know that we're gonna cut the power for a couple hours, maybe three hours. What we're gonna do in the meantime is remove the electrical meter, turn off the breakers for the house, change the old breaker box to install the new transfer switch box. And after we do that, we're gonna plug everything back and put the power back to the house and let the owner know. This is your automatic transfer switch. It's basically the brains of your generator system. It senses when the power goes off and then turns on the generator and boom, in 10 seconds, your power is back on. A fence divides the yard with the generator on the other side. Not a problem for Isaac and his crew. The generator is lifted over the fence and placed on a concrete slab. From here, it is connected to the home's electrical system. Did you know Generac generators are used in 80% of the U.S. residential market? Generator Supercenter is the largest Generac dealer in the nation. Hurricane Irma caused power outages to 6.2 million homes. Standby generators are typically powered by natural gas or propane. This one will use propane. The propane tank will be underground in a carefully selected spot. The hole is prepped, then the supply tank is carefully lowered in. A tank this size can run the generator for weeks at a time. A line is run from the tank to the generator. The installation is nearly complete. 
Now that your installation is done, Generator Supercenter will monitor your unit 24-7 to ensure that the unit is in proper working order when you most need it. Safety, comfort, security. With a standby power generator, you are assured the power you need even in the worst situations. They call it the mean season. Hurricanes are a fact of life for Floridians. We live in paradise, but every year the possibility of hurricanes hangs over our heads. Covering your windows is the first line of protection for your property and valuables. You can't have peace of mind without it. That's where dependable shutter and glass come in. The crew load up first thing in the morning with the pre-measured and built accordion shutters. These specialists have completed countless installs, each one a little different. Today we're in Boynton Beach, Florida, getting ready to install accordion shutters on a two-story home, and uh, we're ready to go. So we had gone through one of the hurricanes with the panel shutters, and it took all day to put those up. And when that's happening and you know the hurricane's coming, it's so frightening because you have so many things that you have to do. I believe they did try to put them up a couple of times, and let me tell you, it's a headache and dangerous. Each shutter assemble is sent to its assigned window. We called like five or six companies and anybody can tell you anything over the phone. So what I did is I took to the web, looked on social media, definitely looked at the ratings as a homeowner. That's so important. I want to hear from the people that called Dependable. How were they? What did they do? And their ratings were great. Window measurements are taken in advance. The most important item to consider is that every window of the home needs to be protected. Reason being is, God forbid, the storm does break that one window or one door and the winds come into the home, there is possibilities that the roof can actually lift once those winds are inside the home. Wayne and lead installer Art review the project. Be prepared to do a little bit of you know, custom work on those openings, but with the direct mounts, you should be fine. Once a window has a shutter, the install is inspected. What I'm here to do is to make sure that all the product is assembled correctly, functioning correctly, and that the homeowner won't have any problems using it when the time comes. All shutter frames and parts have been custom cut. Let's give it a shot. And again, just take your time. It takes practice. The peace of mind that I have now because it's dependable is the shutters are so easy to close. What a relief that is because one of the things you stress about the most is putting up your shutters. We don't have to do that anymore, so it makes it really easy for us. Did you know, since 1851, 37 hurricanes have made direct hits on Florida? The worst place for hurricane hits is Southeast Florida, from Miami to West Palm Beach. Hurricane damage occurs by flooding, roof damage, window and door breaches. Meanwhile, a second crew is taking on a different project at another home nearby. We already have accordion shutters on our top floor windows, but nothing on the ground floor. And I'm particularly concerned about the large sliding glass patio door that opens up to our backyard. We contacted Dependable Shutter and Glass because it came highly recommended. Wayne shows Brandy how to secure her new accordion shutters for the sliding glass door. So with the accordion shutters, you just need to take your time. Okay. This is gonna have an inside lock, so in case you need to get out of the home, you'll be able to just turn and leave. Okay. There's these handles here on either side. You're gonna mate these two together, just like this here, and then push that lock. Once it's locked, that's it, you're done. It looks easy. It looks easy, it is easy. Just gotta get familiar with it. Okay. Instead of spending the whole day putting up panels, I take 20 minutes to closing up the accordion shutters, and then I have more time to spend with my family and friends getting prepared for a hurricane. So thanks to Dependable, I don't have to call somebody and stress out who's coming, are they booked for the day? I could just go outside, shut them easy, and it really has taken so much stress off us for a storm. It's such a relief to not have to think about it then anymore. For more information, visit dependableshutters.com or go to designingspaces.tv.
For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv.